Last year, Fox 47 told you all about how the old Lansing train station here at 637 East Michigan Avenue was getting revitalized. You may remember it was once home to Clara's restaurant and has been vacant since 2016. With all the redevelopment work, its new tenant Starbucks could be ready to serve you by mid-September. A lot of work's been done in the last nine to ten months, and really it started three, four years ago of several different concepts, test fits, seeing what we could think, see what we felt could make work here. Jason Kilday is the director of facilities and project management for the Gillespie Group. He says the company bought the property after the restaurant had closed in 2016. We had so much interest in the, developing the Michigan Avenue corridor with our staples kind of around the stadium district and building and expanding the stadium district a little bit past uh, Large Street here to the east. So we felt it as a key acquisition to continue our, our development of the stadium district. Starbucks has already claimed part of the historic building as its own. In an email to Fox 47, a spokesperson says it will be a Starbucks community store and will focus on local hiring and partnerships with local nonprofits. Last fall, after all the plans were together, Kilday says they did all new site work. It has all new electrical, all new plumbing, all new mechanicals through the building, new storm sewers. Um, and then, of course, we renovated the uh, the inside of the building to accommodate Starbucks and the work they're going to do to build out their space. The renovations included shoring up walls that were starting to deteriorate. Always complications. There's always unexpected things you come across, but um, in the end, the effort's always worth it because um, you know this hundred plus year old building's you know hopefully going to stand here for another hundred years at least. They also put in a new drive-through window and a drive-through lane for Starbucks and have repaved the parking lot. But if you take a closer look in some areas, you can still see some history in the ground. So it's actually quite interesting. The parking lot underneath it has the original brick pavers that were installed sometime, you know, after the early 1900s. And then over time, uh, you know, whether the Jubex or whoever owned the property paved it with asphalt. So when we peeled all that back, we found all these cool, old, uh, unique brick pavers out of Saginaw and Detroit uh, brick companies. To date, $3.6 million have been put in for this project, and then $1.2 million will be put in at completion of the project. The company is working with another tenant with a restaurant concept that would also incorporate the infamous train car into its plans if the deal is locked in. So we're trying to put the finishing touches on a lease, get their build-out plans going, and then and, you know, hopefully be able to activate their space sometime in, uh, in the first quarter, early second of next year. I think this is important to the community in Lansing because of the history that it carries both as the train station and the restaurant with memories of coming here for a Sunday brunch or coming here for a birthday party or wedding reception. Um, so for us, keeping that history was really important um, to where we had all that memories and we'd be pleased with that, but also be able to create new memories in it in the future. Throughout the project, the company says they have taken in the opinions of the committee to keep the history of this building alive. We did a lot to make sure that this building would make it another 100 years. It wasn't something we just made look nice. Um, we definitely invested the money to keep this building here for longer term. So we have those memories from 100 years you know, back and then we'll keep them for 100 more years at least is the, is the expectation. They are hoping to have the project complete and the space occupied by next year. In downtown Lansing, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Tiana Jenkins.